guys, it's Kristen with Simply a Steward, and I'm back with another grocery haul video. Um, we've changed kind of how we're doing things with our grocery budget, and so we are currently going to Costco every six weeks. It used to be sometimes it was four weeks, sometimes it was eight weeks, sometimes it was six weeks. We were trying to definitely do it every six weeks so that we could get it more down to a science of what we needed, um, mostly for our budget's sake, just to kind of try and figure out exactly what we need for our budget. So um, this time, just for this trip alone, we are trying to do the same thing for Aldi. Um, we are trying to do basically six weeks worth of groceries there, but I just kind of had to guess. We hadn't really been working on this ahead of time, so I just guessed on some things um, to try and figure out what we would need for six weeks, except for our fresh fruits and veg vegetables. I go back weekly um, to Aldi for fresh fruits and vegetables and also a gallon of milk like every two weeks so that I can make yogurt. Um, so, and I apologize, I also go to the farmer for eggs, but that's locally. So, um, everything else that we're going to eat for about six weeks is in this haul. So I'm going to start with the Aldi stuff, um, while my husband is nice enough to unload the rest of the Costco haul, and then I will show you what we got there. All right, so this is what we got at Aldi this week. Um, there is some produce, but you will notice there's not, um, a lot of produce or all of our produce, and that's because we did go to Costco, um, I will fill in more produce at Aldi weekly, but this is just the extras beyond what I got at Costco. So the first thing is I got some bananas. Um, my daughter does like to have bananas. I have four children, if you are unfamiliar with my channel, and um, they are, well, let's see, 10, 8, just turning 6 next month, and almost 4 also. So um, out of my four kids, only one likes bananas as a treat, like as a snack food or um, it's just a piece of fruit with their breakfast. And so I got some bananas, but I also use these for things like banana bread and smoothies. So I picked up some bananas. I also picked up a package of the um, organic little tomatoes, and that'll be for my husband's lunches. He takes to um, salads a lot for lunch. And then I got one bag of grapes. Um, we are trying to plan out our snacks a little bit better, and so we've been doing twice a week. We do grapes um, with some cheese for snack, and so this will um, be our grapes for this week. And we got two bags of the organic apples. Um, one was Pink Lady and one was Gala. I prefer the Gala, honestly, just because they're cheaper. Um, my kids like both, so it's no big deal, but they only had... Um, one bag of gala so we ended up with one of each this time and so i got one of each of those for their snacks this week this is our primary snack um in the morning kind of while we're homeschooling as it gets we eat breakfast um fairly early usually between six and seven so if my kids are hungry around 10 o'clock before lunch i'll go ahead and cut them an apple and then um, we got two bags of these little oranges. These are kind of the food that I keep in the fridge all the time. If the kids are whining that they're hungry for any reason, they can just go get an orange anytime they want and have one. Um, even my four-year-old just gets, well, almost four-year-old gets in there and grabs them and gets her own oranges out. So we have two bags of those for this week. And then we got four orange juices. Now this is about an orange juice a week, and this is mostly for our vitamin C shots. Um, they are 100% juice. I know they are not fresh squeezed. They are not the best, but we are doing the best we can on the budget we have. And so we got those. If those are not enough, I will be able to um, kind of fill in when I go and pick up the rest of my produce uh, for the weeks coming. I can always grab an extra one or two of those. These, I had no idea how many I had. I forgot to check my cupboard before I left, so I grabbed two of the organic apple juices. We keep those on hand. I think I go through about one a week, but I know I already have some. Um, and we use those, again, my kids do their vitamin C shots with that, and then we also use it in our smoothies sometimes. So we grabbed a couple of those. Um, we grabbed salsas back here. This is my husband's favorite kind of salsa. We found that we are going through about two, um, two a week, he said, and so hopefully this will be almost a whole month's worth. Uh, we will find out, but that is his favorite snack is chips and salsa. Um, let me see if I can find the ingredients for you. It's fairly clean. There is some cane sugar in there if that's a concern for you if you're on Whole30, but otherwise it's pretty clean ingredients. We're focusing mostly on clean. We are trying to get rid of some of the sugars, um, but that's not one area that we're focusing on at the moment. So um, I also got two of the spaghetti squash. I have not decided if this will be lunch or dinner for this week. Um, I didn't have time to make my exact meal plan because I was meal planning for six weeks, so I didn't choose my meals for this week. 
um, particularly. So I have those either for lunch um, for the kiddos or for um, dinner possibly tomorrow. And then I grabbed the cottage cheese. We have not done uh, lasagna since we began changing our diet a year ago. My husband mentioned that he wanted to have a lasagna. We don't care for ricotta cheese in our lasagnas. Um, we all prefer cottage cheese. And so I picked up one of those because I did buy some of the jovial um, sprouted noodles off of Vitacost, um, or maybe it was Azure, uh, a couple months ago that have been sitting in the cupboard. So we're going to go ahead and use those up with that. I got this one big Greek yogurt, and that is to be a starter for our yogurts for the month or like the six-week time period. Um, and then I got a bunch of this Kerrygold butter. That's primarily what we use as far as butter goes. That about one of these a week um, should last. We don't use a ton of butter. We do use it in our mashed potatoes primarily. So I did get um, five of those. We can throw them in the freezer and just pull them out as needed. I also got these cheeses. Like I mentioned, we use um, these when we use our grapes as a snack. I just cut um, sections of them off and slice them into pieces for the kids. So we go through about one of these a week. And so I went ahead and I bought six of them. So it should be the next six weeks. The dates on these, um, I checked them, are in July. So they should be plenty good. Now they are pasteurized milk, which is a little bit of a bummer. Um, I would prefer raw cheese, but that's hard to find around here. So it is from grass-fed cows from Ireland. That is the best we can do at the moment with our budget. So that's what we got. Um, the next thing I got were these four boneless chicken tenders. We do also buy roaster chickens from there that are the um, like all-natural kind, but I had uh, two in the freezer, and so I didn't buy any for this month. Uh, we, I'm guessing we will probably buy more of this chicken, but again, I have a couple bags in the freezer, so I need to figure out better how many we go through a week with this. I grabbed one Dijon mustard. We use these for a couple recipes, um, and I my other one is already opened, um, so I wanted to make sure I had one. Also, I'm trying to make a few new sauces and dressings this month from scratch, and a couple of them called for that, so I wanted to make sure I had an extra on hand in case I needed it. I don't want to be running to the store for extra random ingredients. And then I picked up um, six of these, and they'll be to go with the spaghetti squash, to go with the lasagna, and then we do like a spaghetti bake, again with the jovial noodles, um, and some ground uh, grass-fed beef, and we usually try and throw a clean pepperoni in there. So we do that once, um, once a month or so, so I made sure I had enough spaghetti sauce for all of that. Um, if you're interested in the spaghetti sauce, let me see if I can pull up the ingredients for you. And so, again, very clean. This one doesn't even have sugar in it. I've been very happy with this one. I don't foresee us changing out of this. I'm not even going to try and make my own. It's a little over $2 a jar, um, so it's a really good price for a really good um, product. And then we got one of the two-pound packages of salmon. We have salmon at least usually once a month, and so I picked that up. We got two of these ketchups. Now, again, this one has sugar in it, but otherwise pretty clean. I love the fact that the because it's organic, there's no corn syrup in it. Um, but I did find a recipe for ketchup that I'm going to try. And so you'll see in my Costco haul, I bought some stuff, um, part of the ingredients for that. So I only bought two of this for now. And if the other ketchup works out making it, then we will um, discontinue buying this. But for now, I wanted to make sure I had these on hand in case um, I didn't get to it right away because we're playing ketchup from being on vacation uh, ketchup, sorry, no pun intended there. Um, and also just in case uh, we didn't quite care for the recipe I found, if I'm still in search of a recipe, we'll have these on hand. And the very last thing I bought from Costco is a, or I'm sorry, from Aldi is a container of the cashews with sea salt. Um, they are not organic, uh, but they the organic ones are about twice the price at Costco. And so I like... Um, I like having these on hand. They're a pretty decent product, at least, like I said. They're not they're not organic, but they're what we can fit on our budget right now, and they do have the sea salt opposed to just some um, random seasonings or whatever. So those will be for snack for the kids also. So that is everything we got for Aldi. I'm going to get this um, cleared off and the frozen stuff put away, and I will show you what we got from Costco today. Okay, and so this craziness 
is what we got from our Costco haul. So starting over here, these are the freezer things um, for the most part that we got. We got two bags of this organic broccoli. They do come in four individual steamable bags. We do not steam ours um, per se because we don't have a microwave, but I do go ahead and either cook these on the stovetop or throw them in the oven and just kind of bake them. Um, I don't know if that's the correct term, I guess, but um, got those. Got a bag of organic peas. My kids love these. They will eat them literally straight out of the freezer as a snack, uh, and then we use them for dinner as well. We got a bag of organic blueberries. We actually ran out of blueberries um, between now and our last Costco trip, and my husband had to run to the closest grocer and get them while I was in the middle of baking when I realized I didn't have them, and they had no organic ones at all. Um, and I did not want that to happen again, so I did go ahead and pick up one of these. Um, and I'm hoping that will last us, even though we already have um, the rest of that other bag that he had got. So uh, I got one of these smoothie blends. Um, we do, again, have one of these in the freezer already, so I think two of them should be good for us. And then my husband saw this and he wanted to try it. Um, he has not had butternut squash, and to be honest, I have not had butternut squash since we begun um, changing our diets over. I had this uh, previous to that and I didn't care for it, so I'm hoping now I might be able to find a way that I do care to make it. Again, in the steamer bags, but they do not have to necessarily be made like that. They can be made in the oven or on the stovetop. They don't have to be thrown um, like in the microwave, which is what the instructions say for the broccoli, so I'm assuming that's what they say for this. Um, the next thing that we got are these thermo flasks that um, four kids and I all have hydro flask bottles. My husband was still using the plastic camelback, and so he had mentioned seeing these in the um, like the Costco insert that you get that comes in the mail. And so when we saw them there, I said, if you want to try them, go ahead. And so he picked one up. Um, I'm hoping he's going to like them. If he likes them, we'll probably pick a second set up when we go next time just because he likes to have three bottles um, to rotate through because he takes one to work, and he likes to keep it in the fridge. Um, I don't know why. He just likes to keep one in the fridge. I guess it keeps it extra cold, even though it does stay cold for a really long time. So um, he will have those. And then we got three of these milks. You can see one, two, and three. They each come with the three um, half gallons in them. We typically go through about one a week, um, and so two should be sufficient for six weeks, which is what we've been getting, and it's been working out for the most part, but we have um, started doing hot chocolate once a week for the kids for afternoon snack, um, and so making sure we have enough, I wanted to grab an extra one. If we would run out, I can go ahead and grab milk also at Aldi, um, or use coconut milk also, but... This should be all of our milk, hopefully, for the next six weeks then. And then on to this craziness. Um, where to start? Okay, here is my favorite salsa. Um, we get the Kirkland Organic Salsa. It's fairly clean. Um, I've shown this before on my hauls. But if you are new, here are the ingredients. If you were on the Whole30, it does have organic sugar in it. Um, otherwise, they're pretty clean. Um, we are not like getting rid of all sugar yet. I do hope to get there, but um, in some of the processed, per se, like pre-made stuff that we buy, um, it does still have sugar. We don't make anything with sugar at home. So um, this is that's a concession we make for our budget needs and our time needs at the moment. I'm hoping to go ahead after this summer um, and find a really good salsa recipe that I like, but I just haven't found a homemade one that that we both love, I guess. So at the moment, that's what we're using. Um, this was new, and I thought it was really cool. It was a superfood blend, and you can see it has quinoa flakes, coconut, um, sorry, cacao nibs, um, coconut, buckwheat, maca, chia, and hemp. And I thought this would be good to throw in our um, hot chocolate that we're making every week for the kids, just as to boost it up with a little extra goodness. Um, and so it's the ingredients were clean. Let's see. It literally just pretty much has what it lists on there. And so we will go ahead and mix that in with our hot chocolate every week. I thought it was a good way just to have some extra things like the maca and the chia. I can throw chia seeds in, but this, um, just the feel of it, obviously through the bag, you can't tell for sure, but it feels very fine. 
My son picks up chia seed very easily. He doesn't like it. Um, and his smoothies and stuff, my girls don't really care. But I was hoping that with it being in here, maybe he wouldn't notice it as much if we mix it in. And then we could get the extra um, healthy fats into him. We also got two bags of these coconut rolls. I'm so excited they're back. They're really good. Um, there we go. Um, so we use those um, sometimes in the morning with our apple um, for a morning snack. Uh, so we picked up two more of those. These grain-free, gluten-free, you can actually see we opened them because we wanted to try them. I was going to pick up one and my husband's like, mm, I might like those. Maybe you should get two. So we bought two. And they're just, sorry, the chocolate coconut cookies. And they are individually wrapped. Um, let's see if I can find, there we go find the ingredients for you. I was so excited when I saw these. They actually have almond flour. If you are familiar with a more like Whole30 or paleo type diet, diet where you use a lot of um, coconut oil, you probably will have no problem with these. You definitely can taste the coconut oil in these. Um, if you're somebody who eats more of a traditional um, conventional diet and is just trying to find some good snacks, um, I mean they're great, but if you're not used to that kind of texture and that kind of taste, you will taste them. But they do come in these like nice little individually wrapped things. So I hope to be able to throw these in like my kids homemade Lunchables um, as like a snack or take them on the road maybe. Um, throw one in my purse or whatever. So those are cool. Um, I did grab one um, more maple syrup. Just a little one. These are a really good deal. We actually have some though in a big gallon size container from the Amish still. Um, uh, but I didn't want to run out, and I like having a new one of these occasionally because I just refill them. The container that I get, obviously, is very big, and so I store it in the freezer after opening to keep it from molding. Um, and then I pour it into uh, whatever container, little container I open last and keep it in my fridge. So I picked up one of those. I picked up four almond butters. I have two downstairs. I find that I go through at least one of these a week. Um with making some of my breads and my muffins and that's only if I make muffins for the week sometimes I do not make them so but the one particular recipe my kids like they use um they make these they sorry they take almond butter and it takes like half a jar to make um a whole week for all four kids so I it's you know it's like two dozen muffins. So well, I do um, have that. And then I use it sometimes in my banana bread as well. And then my kids do like to eat this sometimes with their banana or sorry, with their um, apples. So I did grab four of those. And the back, you can see the organic tortilla chips. And we got five of those. Those are my husband's main snack food um, all of the time. So those are back there. And we do pick up, we usually try to pick up one um, per week. And we do still have one downstairs. We didn't go through a full bag a week last time. Um, so we have extras. So that's why we got one less. And then we got the caveman bars. I actually do have some of these, but they're they're half and half. They're 10 of the cashew and 10 of the coconut. Um, and right now I have gone through the cashew um, more quickly because I took them on vacation as my breakfast food when we went to Disney. Um, but typically we go through the coconut more quickly because four kids eat this kind and mommy eats this kind. So um, I just made sure I went ahead and had an extra box so that we can kind of even at the playing field and everybody can be eating a granola bar that is a little more healthy for them. Um, I also have the grain free granola bars that I have bought previously and we try to rotate through those once a week for snack. And then down here I have some of my produce. It's kind of all over the place because my husband helped me set this up before he went to pick the kiddos up. The kiddos were staying with my in-laws while we went shopping today. Um, and so we got a big 10-pound bag of apples. These ones are not organic. I've shared this before. That is my husband's choice. These are his apples for work. Um, and these will last him usually at least two weeks, um, sometimes three if he keeps them in the refrigerator downstairs. He doesn't seem to have um, problems with them going bad. So... These will be the apples for him. And then we got a big um, bag of potatoes. I think this is 15 pounds, if I'm correct. The yellow potatoes. Um, I do have some red potatoes and some russet potatoes left. 
Um, so that should get us through the next couple weeks that we store them in the basement when we get large bags um, with our sweet potatoes from the garden and they seem to stay good for a very long time. So we got those and then we got the big bag um, of organic carrots. We use these quite a bit. My husband uses them for lunches. We use them for smoothies. We shred, shred them and put them on our salads, all kinds of things. This bag usually lasts us about um, six weeks, though. So we do buy baby carrots from time to time to snack on. We don't usually snack on these. We use them primarily um, for, like I said, the salads and the smoothies, and then my husband using them um, cooked for lunch. My kids don't care for carrots for dinner. Um, and so the carrots, they get their carrots in with salads and smoothies, and that's fine by me. Um, back here we got a one set of raw honey. I do use mostly, um, raw local honey, which I do have some, but there are a few recipes I use that is honestly quite easier to try and squeeze it out of here, or not a few recipes, but a few things that I use. It's easier to squirt it out of here than it is, um, to necessarily like scoop it out of a mason jar and so I do keep these on hand um, sometimes from time to time for that plus our local honey is uh, hard to get right now and so we're running low and I do like having a little bit of the local honey in our diets very regularly and I don't want to run out before um, we get into like the springtime because my daughter's allergies um, are tree allergies and so having the local honey seems to help. Then we got this um, Kirkland chicken. We've never bought this before. Um, we've got something similar. My mother-in-law had picked up at um, Sam's Club because she's a member there. And my husband had it, and he thought that this might be a good alternative, especially when we're busy to cook regular chicken to throw on top of his salads. Plus, we cook all of our um, lunches on, like, Saturday or Sunday for the week. And then sometimes by the end of the week, the chicken that is, like, the tenderloins that we showed in the Aldi part, um, it gets kind of hard sitting in a salad all week. And so he thought this might be uh, something different to try and see how it works out. We'll see how it goes. Um, back there, we got a cauliflower crust pizza. It's actually a two-pack. This was like $12, I think, which made each pizza about $6. There are some ingredients in there, honestly, that I would prefer not to be eating. Um, but my husband really wanted to have something simple on hand um, besides hot dogs in case we um, really couldn't do dinner so that we weren't, you know, pressed and out of sorts because if the kids get really hungry and I have to make something, um... And that doesn't happen very often, but occasionally things don't go as planned. And so I thought, well, for those times, having this on hand would be better than anything else. We have not done um, fast food or anything like that in over a year. We've been doing some roaster chickens on occasion from, like, a local grocer. Um, and so I thought this would be a good alternative. We're going to try it out. Um, it won't be something that we eat on a regular basis by any means. Even if we like it, it will probably remain one in our haul for six weeks or maybe even two. But because we'll go through two pizzas for one meal. So we do have that. And then I'm so excited to find these. Um, I have seen these in lots of other people's hauls that they've shared on Instagram or a few people on um, YouTube here, but I have never seen these in the store. I've never seen them in the wild. And so the ingredients are pretty clean. I like having stuff like this on the go, um, particularly when my kids go to like church um, if I want to send a snack with them or something like that, because they eat, I'll be honest, my church leaders are, try to do very good about, um, having cleaner snacks, but a lot of it's, um, still has gluten in it. And since we all eat gluten free, I try to always send my kids snacks. So that'll be great to have on hand for that. These paleo bites, my husband was so excited. We went, um, I guess not really at the beginning of the year because it is February now, but, um, towards the beginning of the year, so they have like more health foods because people are eating quote unquote healthy at the beginning of the year with their New Year's resolutions and everything. And so many, several things we saw said the word paleo on it. And every time he saw it, he like ran to it to check it out. So these, um, the ingredients are pretty clean. Let me see if I can find them. There we go. Sorry if I made you sick spinning it around looking. So I don't know what the vanilla flavor is. You know, that can always be a little iffy flavor. Um, but otherwise, they seem pretty good. So we're going to give those a try. I thought it would be um, just a nice little snack if my husband likes them. He has a hard time finding snack foods, hence 
all of those organic chips. <laughs> so he wanted to try them, so I thought, heck, why not? We'll try them out. So we grabbed those, and then right under that are the Aussie Bites we get. We actually didn't get any of these on our last trip, and my kids asked, why not? And so um, these do have canola oil in them, so I tried not to, like, eat a lot of that. Um, but we did pick up one um, one of them. There are six of us, although honestly my husband doesn't really eat them much. So there are five of us who eat them. Um, so for a six-week period, we don't need a ton each. So those are just a nice little treat that they can have on occasion. And then here we got four bags of almond flour. Those are to make like our breakfast foods. We do muffins um, and waffles and pancakes. And then we also do a banana and a zucchini bread. Those are most of the baked goods we do. Um, and so I like to make sure that I keep that on hand. I have those big jars back there of different flours and whatnot that we fill. You can't see the almond flour because it's over here. So I like to just make sure I have enough to keep that filled so that we can make what we make weekly and not have to worry about it. Um, and then these, I have not seen these. Again, another thing that I've seen in a lot of people's hauls, and they are hip peas. Um, a lot of people have seen shown these actually from Whole Foods first, and then I've started seeing them pop up in hauls for Costco, and so I thought that we would try those out. Um, just a little snack for the kids to see if they liked. We found a few things, like I mentioned these and those. Um, and so that was just one more random thing that we didn't really plan on buying, but if they like them and we continue to, um, see them there because that's the problem with Costco. Sometimes you find something and then you can never find it again. Um, then we might add those into our rotation for an occasional snack, maybe for church or just to go somewhere if we're going on like an outing for the day to the zoo or something to take those along with us. And then I got um, this big bag of popcorn in the back. Um, we take this. This is my other kid's main snack for church. Um, I will share my Vitacost haul when it comes in. I did order some pretzels. My son takes pretzels. My three girls take popcorn. Um, I miss the organic popcorn. They don't carry it anymore. But this popcorn does um, have non-GMO on it, which is really important to me. That's the most important to me is not having um, GMO corn. So the fact that it is not organic does mean that it could be sprayed, but at least it does have the um, outside coating on it. It's not part of the dirty um, dozen. So for now, that's what we're doing. If I can find another popcorn, right now I don't have a popcorn like a air popper or anything to be popping our own. So this works. Plus, it's easy for my kids to grab and make their own um, bags to go to church on Saturday nights, which is when we typically go. And I don't have to worry about popping popcorn or them popping, popping popcorn in time to go. They can just grab it out of the bag and make snack bags. And then we got two pineapples. Um, we haven't done pineapple for breakfast in a little while. And when we go to Costco, they always have really nice pineapple. The pineapple at Aldi this time of year is not um, much to be said for. So for the fact that we saw it at Costco and the fact that my kids, uh, my youngest daughter, not the rest of them, but my youngest daughter have had a cough, pineapple is great for coughs. And so I thought that we would grab those for breakfast for this week. Then we have a set of sardines. Um, we like to keep sardines and tuna on hand. It's one of those quick meals for us. Uh, you, if we do go to church on a Sunday and we come home and we all want to eat quickly or if we're on the go, we can grab these because they have a pool tab on the inside and we can pull them um, and eat these in the car and we can grab some of the Simple Mills crackers and take them with us. It's really quick and easy. And then we got a um, six cans of the coconut milk. I am trying to incorporate more coconut milk and less almond milk, and so I pick this up. We're going to see how that goes. I do have some uh, cans downstairs I've been using somewhat, um, and hopefully it goes well for us because we need to use a little bit less almond product, I feel like. So hopefully this will be a good change for us in 2019. And then I was so excited to see these back. I actually had stopped at a random Costco um, for my sister-in-law right before we left for vacation because she wanted something and found these there and I thought man we haven't seen these at ours forever so I picked up three that was all we bought that day for us um, and threw them in my freezer and then I saw like whole packages of these so I went ahead and picked up one more um, so that I can keep these in my freezer um, and use them hopefully we'll continue to see them but if we don't see them and they disappear again we'll have several packages ready to go then we grab this tomato sauce. I already have some tomato paste. Those were the two main ingredients in the ketchup that I found to make. Also, um, some other 
like seasonings and different things, but I did want to make sure that I picked these up. And so I'm going to give myself um, a try here at making ketchup for my kids and hope that they will eat it because it will be even cleaner than the ketchup we currently buy. It will not have sugar in it then. So we grabbed that. We grabbed two of these containers um, of blueberries. They're, I don't know, I think like a pound each. Um, they're nice big containers though, so there'll be one for me and one for my big girls. My youngest two kiddos don't really care for blueberries, um, but they had lots of other fruit as you've seen. So this will be for my big two girls, and then this is my major fruit um, of choice. I usually eat blueberries and then again some of the cheese sometimes. So we got that. And then we got this nice big container of mushrooms. Um, we go through a lot of mushrooms in this house. We like them on all kinds of things. Our salads, we grind them up and put them inside our meat a lot of times. This package will not last very long, but it will last um, this next week. And then I can go ahead and refresh with whatever I need um, from Aldi for the coming up weeks. So, And then we got one two of these epsom salts my kids have been doing more detox baths i do detox baths um and so i like to keep these on hand it's um 12 pounds each and they're about an eight they're about eight dollars a box um so i think this is a really good deal and these are the pure ones there's no like um junk added into it some of them even dr teal's has stuff that's added to it but these ones do not have anything but clean pure Epsom salt, um, so it's a really good deal to go ahead and grab those at Costco. Speaking of good deals, I guess this would be next then. The, this is the greatest deal you can find. It is, oh, I th think it's like $9 and something maybe, um, but it's like $7 at Trader Joe's for like half of this size. And so I do have a full one of these downstairs, but we use avocado oil as our main oil at home. Um, and then we also use it when we're cleaning our cast iron pans. And so I always make sure that I have one of those, um, if not two of those, extra on hand because I do not want to run out of those. So I grabbed one of those. And then I grabbed one of these. Dun, dun, dun. All this healthy stuff you see. And then this. I know. Um, but we have just yet to find a barbecue sauce to fill our needs. We're only going through, we don't even go through two of these in six weeks. Um, I don't know if we bought these on our last trip or not, but we definitely still have some. I just wanted to go ahead and throw it in the cupboard because I couldn't remember what we had and I forgot to look. So that's the worst. If you have a good barbecue recipe that's clean, drop it down in the comments, please. I would love to hear it. I'm working on finding stuff, replacing the condiments and such that we um, are not as clean. And this is probably one of the very worst things that is in my house right now. So if you can help me replace it, good deal. Um, and then we got this oregano. It was organic. There's not very many organic seasonings they carry there, um, but oregano is something we go through a lot of, so I'm trying to upgrade into some bigger containers. I'm probably just going to store them in mason jars for right now um, so that no matter what brand I'm buying that's organic, they can all be in similar size containers. It'll make my, my cupboard storage very, much easier. So I grabbed that one. Um, I'm just going to keep upgrading as often as I can see some. I know I got garlic powder on my last um, Vitacost haul, and I'm just going to have to continue as I find things that we use in a bigger container. So um, they had these, which I have not seen in a long time. I thought they would just be a neat little, tr um, like a little snack. It's not something we eat very often, but uh, I have had them before, and they are good on um, the kids. And they kind of like them, but honestly, they'd probably rather just eat apples. So I just thought that we would have them uh, like a crunchy snack on the side if we wanted them. I don't know if these will stay in our rotation, honestly, even if they continue to carry them. Um, it was the first of the new snacks we saw, and so we just grabbed them. And honestly, by the time I got to the register, I forgot they were in there. So it is what it is. We came home with them. I'm sure they'll get eaten. And then they had this organic light brown rice i am going to work on sprouting rice we have not had rice in our diet very much um at all we've probably ate rice beyond being out uh, we've ate, eaten it out um at restaurants occasionally but besides that we have only eaten rice probably less than a handful of times over the past year and so i thought if i sprouted it we might be willing to put this back in our diets um occasionally particularly for the kids i'm quite happy with the cauliflower rice but there are sometimes the kids would just prefer to have regular rice um, especially when we do like a stir fry, like a chicken stir fry, uh, th that's just the kind of thing they prefer. So I did pick up a big bag of that. 
Um, we will sprout it and then I will cook it in the instant pot. And then over here is almost to the end. I have this large container of baby spinach. I've been actually going through a smaller container, but their containers seem to last um, a little bit longer than my local grocer. So this should last us two weeks. And then we got, <laughs> my husband was like a kid in a candy store. He saw these and like bolted for the crackers. Do you guys, do your husbands have like a thing like that? They see something and they like run to it because it's their favorite. Well, these um, crackers are like one of my husband's favorites. We try not to snack on them as much, um, but we definitely eat them with like our sardines and tuna. Oh, very occasionally he will snack on them um, or we take them in our Lunchables. And so he went and he grabbed four boxes. So that's what we got. He made the decision. That's what came home with us. And then we got two of these spring mixes. My husband, if you follow me, you know that he is a big fan of iceberg lettuce. And he's finally starting to eat more of the dark greens, which are much better for him. So we actually bought two of these. One of them will be mainly for my lunch for the week. And one of them will be mainly for his lunch for the week. If there's any leftover from that, my kids, um, especially my big girls, love salad. So they can go ahead and they can have salad um, this week for lunch for themselves. So that's about everything. The only thing I think I didn't mention, but I'm sure you saw, was that huge thing of bath tissue. Um, we were down to our very last roll of toilet paper, and I told my kids, no more using it, like, unless you have to, because they were blowing their nose on it and going through them like crazy. So I went and grabbed a box of tissues because they wouldn't get them out of the cupboard and put them out and said, do not use my bath, my toilet paper here for um, blowing your nose. Use a tissue because we're almost out, and we only have two days till we go to Costco. Or you'll be in trouble. So, um, <laughs> so and we made it. We still have some on the roll. And now we have this big package. Um, so hopefully that will last us the next six weeks. So that is everything that we had for our six weeks. Like I mentioned, we will be going back to Aldi definitely um, to fill in our fresh produce. We will be running to um, the local farmer that we go to to get our eggs he pasture raises sorry he pasture raises most of his eggs and so that's where we get them from those and then we will make a trip um to our local grocer i wanted to do it tonight but it's getting really laid out um especially for a sunday night we usually do costco runs on a saturday um so i wanted to get home and get the kids to bed with school and work tomorrow um but we will literally only buy three things there that will last us the next month um depending on what our meals are, because our, our meals go in about a month rotation, I might have to grab a few extra things after our four-week mark, but we should we should be good with just literally those three things. So um, that is just about everything that we will be using for six weeks' worth of groceries for all of our four kids and my husband and myself. Um, if you guys are interested and you guys like this kind of content, please make sure that you go ahead and click that thumbs up down below so I know to go ahead and keep making these haul videos for you. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. We'd love to have you join us. Um, I do do all kinds of haul videos, not just things related to food, but I also do Vitacost. I do young living hauls and sometimes homeschooling hauls along with other videos. So go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. And until next time, we'll see you later. Bye.